go. What is new YouTube? It's Moose here, bringing you guys another video, and today I want to bring you all the information we know so far on Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered, and instead of being super greedy like some other YouTubers and posting a bajillion different videos on every little topic, I'm going to bring you guys one video on everything we know so far. So let's get started here. Infinite Warfare is what we're going to start with. There are many different editions of the game that we've learned about so far. There is the regular game, just Infinite Warfare, 60 bucks. That's all you pay. There is the Legacy edition or the digital legacy edition that is infinite warfare and cod 4 and that is 80 dollars then there's the digital only deluxe edition and that is infinite warfare cod 4 and the season pass probably your best bet money wise you're saving the most money that is a hundred dollars and then finally we have the ultra super legacy pro edition which is infinite warfare cod 4 season pass a collectible steelbook game soundtrack and in-game digital items and that is 120 dollars and that is only available at gamestop i think. Also, pre-orders are live today for COD Infinite Warfare, so if you buy it on Steam for the PC, you get a bonus 1,000 Call of Duty points or COD points in Black Ops 3. If you buy it on Xbox Live digitally, you get a bonus 1,000 Call of Duty points in Black Ops 3. You kind of see what's going on here. If you buy it digitally on the PlayStation Network, you get a bonus 1,000 Call of Duty points, as well as a COD Infinite Warfare digital theme for your PlayStation. And then also you can pre-order it on Amazon as well as GameStop, and as I said, the exclusive Legacy Pro Edition is only available at GameStop, and I'm pretty sure you also get some sort of a two-sided poster. Next up, it was announced that the DLC will be first on PlayStation Network 30 days before Xbox Live and PC get it, just like Black Ops 3 was. So now something we all really want to know, what is the movement like of COD Infinite Warfare? And this is exactly what they said. The movement will reward players for utilizing their surroundings and applying strategy in the heat of the moment. So basically there was no real answer on if there's jetpacks, if there's boosting, but I feel like there probably is. And this is why. These are two pictures from the trailer that was released earlier this morning. And as you can tell, those people are boosting or kind of jumping up really high, obviously. But there is no mention of boosting, there's no mention of exosuits, and in the trailer it was never really touched on either. Now Infinity War did have a stream today where they talked about Infinite Warfare and they answered a bunch of questions so let's go through kind of what they talked about there first infinite warfare will have maps on different planets and space stations which would be pretty cool i'm not really sure how they're going to do that and these maps are designed to immerse players into fast fun and frantic gameplay that players have come to expect from cod as they continue to say call of duty infinite warfare is the future but it's still the call of duty you love so again it's not really sure what they mean by that but take it however you think however you want to take it that's fine they also touched on saying that there's a wide range of new lethals and tacticals not very precise that's all the information they gave us and then something that we figured out today that is pretty freaking awesome the third game mode for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, instead of being Extinction or whatever else they had, it'll be Zombies. But it will be completely different from Infinite Warfare. It will not have any ties to it whatsoever, they were trying to say. But it will be their third game mode, along with Campaign, Multiplayer, then Zombies. Also, they wanted to make sure that it will be apart from Treyarch Zombies, so it will be different. I don't know if that'll be better or worse. Treyarch Zombies are pretty freaking awesome. So I don't know how they can make it better, but that's something we'll just have to wait and see. Finally, about zombies, they did say they will have Easter eggs and more. I don't know what will be more than Easter eggs. That's something we'll just have to wait and find out. Now what a lot of you guys have been waiting for, COD 4 Remastered. So the company Raven Software is the company actually remastering it. So Infinity Ward's kind of focusing on Infinite Warfare, who is teaming up with Raven Software, who's focusing on remastering COD 4. The game will not be sold separately, It'll only be sold with Infinite Warfare. So keep that in mind. When you're only going to be playing COD 4, you have to buy it with infinite warfare they're gonna be keeping the movement the same as the original so nothing no big surprise there but they are only coming out with 10 multiplayer maps which is actually quite a few but only three have been confirmed so far and those are crash backlot and crossfire and i'm sure the seven others will just be the other very popular map so don't worry about if your favorite map isn't going to be there i'm sure it will be they're also answering a bunch of questions about cod 4 remastered and one of them was will your stats from the previous version carry over answer to that is no it's a brand new game everyone's starting from level one and there will be full multiplayer progression what that means is you'll be able to get to 10th prestige all the weapon unlocks camo stuff like that will be the same it'll be just like playing cod 4 
for the first time. They also mentioned that there will be dedicated servers for both COD 4 and Infinite Warfare, which is really, really good to see. And finally, they just showed a bunch of remastered pictures just showing what COD 4 used to look like and what it looks like now in the remastered edition. And it looks absolutely beautiful. And then they finally ended it by saying the next big news about Infinite Warfare will be coming at E3, which is June 14th to the 16th. So that's the next time we'll be getting some big news. So hopefully I touched on everything that we've learned so far about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered. And hopefully you guys have learned something here or if you missed anything about it today this has kind of caught you up so you know everything that everyone else knows right now about these games but if you guys did enjoy this video and enjoyed the format of quickly just spitting all the facts to you guys please click that like button down below some of you guys have not already thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later